Hey folks, Aaron from Beansprout here. I've been getting a lot of emails lately asking about the tenor guitars I've been building, and uh, there seems to be a lot of interest in them, but also a, little, a lot of confusion about the difference between a tenor guitar and a baritone uke, and what's going on in the specs and the features. And if I get the same email uh, three times in a month, then I think it's time to make a video about it, because it seems to be that the information needs to be out there. So, I'm going to try to explain the difference between the tenor guitar and the baritone uke, uh, a little bit about my designs and the history behind them, and my philosophy be about them. Um, but really, I am just speaking for me and my builds. I don't want to try to speak for other builders. This is just what I do. Um, I think really the main uh, situation that we have to understand here is these two instruments, although they seem to be pretty much the same thing, they come from kind of different families. Um, the ukulele world, this is the biggest thing in the ukulele world. Um, and so as it grows bigger, it ends up looking and seeming quite a bit like the smallest thing in the steel string world. So as like guitars get smaller, we end up with this. As ukes get bigger, we end up with this. Um, but uh, the two families they live in are really quite a bit different. So um, when it comes to like the baritone uke, it's really like a miniature classical guitar. It's got non-steel strings, it's fan braced, um, and it's known in the uke world for its kind of rich and deep tone. because the baritone uke is typically tuned DGBE, which is lower than the other size ukuleles. I use a 20 inch scale length, that's from here to here, and the total length of this is 29 and 3 quarter inches long. Um, upper bout is 7 and a quarter, lower bout is 9 and a half. And um, although my baritone ukes are plenty loud, um, they are known for that rich, deep, mellow voice. So if that's what you're after, I think the baritone uke is the way to go. I typically do a nut width of one and three eighths, um, but I will do uh, one and a half upon request. So yeah, baritone uke. This is my personal instrument. It's um, Porterford Cedar and White Oak. Okay, tenor guitar. Um, so yeah, what we're talking about with the tenor guitar is this is like a steel strung instrument, like a normal, you know, folk guitar, but it's uh, shrunk down and it's only got four strings. Mine is based off of a Regal design from the 1920s. It's the first commercially available and marketed tenor guitar um, that ever uh, was sold in the U.S. And I really like this design. It's been a fun, it's been a fun project to pay tribute to this Regal and put all my own spin on it. So um, it's got steel strings. And I think that um, even though for a small instrument it's got a lot of depth and warmth, the real purpose of it is that steel string tone. And if that's what you're after, then this is the instrument for you. Um, now, another thing that makes tenor guitars interesting is that people who play lots of other instruments come to them and they all bring their own tunings along. So although I tune this one just like my baritone uke, other folks tune it um, in fifths, other folks tune it an octave below mandolin, other folks do it a bunch of different ways. So I've been making these for many different kinds of musicians and they all kind of have their own tunings. And I'm not here to fight about that, I'm just saying it's a very variable situation. Um, so uh, this is a 21 and a half scale length and the total length is 32 inches. Upper bout is seven and a half, lower bout is 10 and a half. Um, and then the nut width, I do it a little narrower. I do um, one and five sixteenths, although we can go down or up from that a little bit if we want to. But with the steel strings, it just doesn't need to be as wide as the baritone uke. And also the taper is usually a little slimmer. Um, and uh, as we, when we put them next to each other, you can see, you know, the tenor guitar is just a little bit bigger. Of course, other builders will have their own size and shapes. I'm not going to argue with them. Uh, this is spruce and mahogany. This is, like I said, Porterford cedar and oak. So it's a little bit apples to oranges. Um, so let's just strum a little bit more on each of them without dropping anything. So yeah, that's that's the vibe. Um, 
two completely different instruments. Um, I've been getting a lot of people who say, oh, can I get a tenor guitar but with nylon strings? Or can I get a baritone uke with steel strings? Can I get a tenor guitar but with nylon strings and a wider nut? I mean, it's really starting to sh slam the two together and I'd really like to keep the two designs um, separate. This instrument is ladder braced like um, 1920s folk and blues guitars. This instrument is fan braced like a miniature classical guitar. It's kind of two different worlds. So, was, does that help? Does this make it worse? I don't know, you tell me. I like both of them for different reasons. I'm just glad and happy to get to do this. So um, drop me a line if you have any more questions. Um, and yeah, cheers.